Hey everyone, if it's your first time here, I am Lucas Kwiatkowski. I'm a full-time PPC manager. I've been doing this for a few years now. And the idea of the videos is to share much more advanced strategies that aren't being talked about by other consultants or experts. Just letting you guys know inside my head how I think, how I work, and what's working for me. Now today I wanted to go through something that it might not apply to everybody, but you should be getting there eventually if you're registering your brand. And so these are the sponsored brand ads or the headline search ads, which is what they used to be called. Now, most of Amazon and most of the conversion and sales are from sponsored products. I get that. But you need to make sure that your sponsored brands are set up correctly because there's a lot more testing and a lot more optimization that can go into these because they, they have a creative aspect. So you can't just throw one headline ad up for your whole brand and expect it to do okay, unless maybe you put it up a couple years ago. But what I'm talking about here is, it's just that the real estate for headline search ads is, there's only one, you know? There's only one at the top of the page as opposed to what, here there's three sponsored product ads and then the sponsored product ads are peppered all throughout. And then there's sponsored brands at the bottom of the page as well. But I think we all know that this one is the very first thing you see. So with sponsored brands, I think there is three ways of looking at it. The first way is knowing your keywords. Let me take a step back. Sponsored brands should, they're not a research tool. These are for brands that have a good amount of reviews, a lot of products to choose from, and they know their audience, they know their targets, and they know their keywords, okay? So that being said, if you know your keywords, there's three different types of headline ads you should have set up. The first one is the the keyword you want to rank for okay i'm doing a sunscreen example here and i'm just going to kind of walk through what the three examples would look like so sunscreen it's obviously the most it's the highest volume keyword in the sunscreen category copper tone is dominating it they have this headline ad up they have ads everywhere right but you can see that their message here because sunscreen is for people just looking for cheap sunscreen the, the quickest they can get it and they want a deal. So their headline is save now on copper tone proven to protect. So they're saying, you know, save now, try to get people to think like it's a deal, you know, it's a trusted brand. And then one other thing here. So if, if I go down to the next category, zinc sunscreen. So zinc sunscreen would be for a brand that, okay, they've been selling for a year. Zinc sunscreen is one of their highest keywords that converts, right? For sponsored products, they rank for it organically. So instead of going very broad with their headline search ad, these clicks, I'm gonna be honest, the click on this ad is probably gonna cost like eight to $10. These are very, very expensive ads, but if you position them well, you can dominate them and more importantly, no one else is gonna show up here. Once you lock down this spot, you're there for a while. So zinc sunscreen is much more targeted. It's you know that that's your keyword. Now the biggest difference between this ad and this ad, and which is why this one is done much better, is because they are using a custom image for their main image here. Because when you are on mobile, let me just go here just, just one second. So top of search, this, this shows you what the ad is going to look like. I'm doing a sunscreen example here just as a template. Top of search desktop, you have the main image and you have those other images there, right? This is what we see. On mobile, which is where most sales come from, top of search mobile app ad. It's only the one image. So Amazon tells you that you need to use your brand logo here and everything, but you can easily create a custom image and this is exactly what you want to do. You want to do a custom image, just go in Photoshop. It's very easy where it showcases your whole brand or your best sellers so that when people are on mobile, 
they see, okay, this isn't just an ad for, for one product. They have a bunch of products I can choose from, whether it's a face sunscreen, a spray sunscreen, different SPFs. Try to get your whole ad into this one image. That's very, very, very important. Now, if I go down one level further, so zinc sunscreen, I'm going to go to all natural zinc oxide sunscreen. Okay. Still a search that's being done. Now you can see another thing to look for here. Again, their brand. If I saw this on mobile, I, that wouldn't make me want to click on it because I don't know that brand. I don't, I don't know what they're selling. I don't know what their products look like. But on top of the image, the other thing to go after here is the headline. So Copper Tone is using Save Now, you know, get a deal, do this. Copper Tone, you know this brand. Elta MD is doing dermatologist recommended sunscreen brand. You know, zinc sunscreen is for people with uh, sensitive skin. So they're pretty in line with this, knowing who their customer is. One step further, these guys, Kula, have come up with an even cooler headline in my mind Farm to Face, healthy suns sun care you'll love to wear. So they might be a little more expensive, but this is this makes me feel like it's a very natural product it's a smaller brand it might be in line with what i'm searching for with this very long tail natural keyword so taking another step back here the last sort of keywords you would want to bid on are your own brand now i know with sponsored products you want to bid on your own brand for defensive purposes it's almost even more important for headline search because it's the first thing you see. I typed in Elta MD here, and this is Sunbum. Sunbum is probably one of the newest, quickest growing brands in this field. They are bidding on Elta MD. They are the first thing you see. And they're very aggressively advertising their lip balm. Maybe Elta MD doesn't have a lip balm, but this is where it becomes such a battle, and these are like very, very advanced and very expensive clicks that these people are going after because they're saying hey Alta MD is a great sunscreen but you know we have a lip balm sunscreen that they don't have so if you're looking for their brand sun balm is the first thing you see okay so now that I've gone over those kind of four different types of headline search ads I want to dial it back here so let's go back to this template and Let's look at, so mobile, we'll see how it looks like. Okay, so again, I, I just pulled this from online. So like edit logo, you know, you can, you can put in any image you want here. You upload a new image and that's what I'm talking about with that custom image. Make sure that it's, it's showcasing all of the products you're advertising or at least a few products from your brand so people on mobile can see, okay, they have a different variety. This is your brand name that goes in there. That's going to default to whatever your brand name is. Now, the headline, this is where testing comes in. Now, as you know, the reports for headline search ads are pretty non-existent. There's no search term report. You can't do broad matches and then show what search terms you're getting for headline search ads. That's why I'm saying these are for when you know your keywords, okay? So, the, the best example that I have here and what I usually do with headline search ads is I, I custom tailor the headline to based off of what keywords you're looking for. So if we want to bid on only zinc sunscreen keywords, you better have the word zinc in your headline because people type it in and you want them to see that word pop up. So let me see if this is something different if I type in zinc oxide sunscreen. It's the same one, so they're still bidding on it. But I've seen a much better return where you say like dermatologist recommended zinc oxide sunscreen. So it's that exact keyword. That's the power of these ads is you can trigger something in customers' heads saying, okay, I typed in this word and now I'm seeing that word. It must be relevant. They're going to click on it. Where if I'm, if I'm advertising a sunscreen spray, you know, you want to have sunscreen spray for kids, SPF 30, whatever. Something that's very, very specific that calls out 
your best attributes of your product in your headline. Think of this as your title. Think of this as your product title, but it's much more shortened. So that's for when you're going after the exact keywords. And then the other end of that is when you have, when you're bidding on your brand name, you can have a, a pretty broad headline. But the other thing on top of this too, is you know when you set up a headline ad, you can go to two different spots. So if you click on this one, you can go, they, they're going to their brand page, which usually doesn't convert. And Sunbum, okay, so this is, a, this usually see as higher conversion. Sunbum is driving you to a custom page with their six tinted limp bombs. They're going to their brand page. What has been seen in research is that Amazon customers get confused and frustrated when they go to these brand pages because they want to say, boom, add to cart, done, right? They, they want it to be quick. They're familiar with this. They're not familiar with these brand pages. So you can test it, but I highly recommend setting up this one, the custom landing page instead of your brand page. So those are the two options. And then just going one step further on this, so what I would do is, like I said, say we're running an, an ad for a zinc sunscreen. I would keep it very, very simple with your keywords. This is not research. This is when you know what works. So phrase match can do well, but exact match is really where you want to be because you know exactly what you're targeting and maybe you only have two keywords for this headline, but it is only for zinc keywords only for these ones because these clicks are going to be expensive. They're going to be five to six hours a click. So that's one you want to set up. On the other hand, if you think about it, there's not headline search ads on every single page on Amazon. So if I go to like a very long tail keyword, you'll see that there's another brand that pops up here. Okay. They're probably not paying too much for this. So that's where the phrase matches can come in handy because you think about it for the sponsored products, everyone's fighting for those, but for these headline search ads, there's not as many brands bidding on these. So that's when phrase or broad on some two word keywords like this can get a good amount of impressions and clicks because you're going to show up on all of these long tail keywords that the big brands might not be bidding on. So it's kind of twofold and then it is so much testing. So since there's no reports for these, this is why you want to keep them simple because so you keep, you know, less than 10 keywords in every campaign. And then if it's not working, you might need to tweak the headline. You might need to tweak the image. You might need to tweak what images are in there. And it's all just racking to the data. You, you know, so you, and the thing that sucks with these is you have to restart them. So, but even just a very simple tweak in the headline can make a big difference. All right. So headline search ads, make sure you have your image set, do a lot of testing with your headlines themselves. And then just think about who your customer is, because these are not research campaigns. These are want, these are aggressive. These are expensive. If you're going after these, you better be ready and you better have your ad optimized. All right. So I hope these were a few tips that some of you guys didn't know, and I will have more videos in the future.